Chapter 3 Bonding Covalent bonding is when two atoms share a pair of electrons. This is between two nonmetals, and the particle formed is called a molecule. A molecule is a particle which contains a fixed number of atoms. The reason why molecules stay together is due to the attraction between the negatively charged electrons and the positively charged nucleus. Here are some examples of molecules. This is a hydrogen molecule and this is a hydrogen chloride molecule. An ionic bond is between a metal and a nonmetal. A metal atom loses its electron and the nonmetal gains it. They form ions. The metal is positively charged and the nonmetal is negatively charged. It is the attraction between these opposite charges that form the bond. The positively charged ion is called a cation and the negatively charged ion is called the anion. For example, common table salt is an example of an ionic bond. The electron from the outer shell of sodium has been transferred to the outer shell of chlorine. The sodium chloride is held together by the strong attraction between the sodium ion and the chloride ion. Metallic bonding the electrons in the outer shell are free to move around the entire structure of the metal and are said to be delocalized. It is the attraction between the positively charged metal ions and the negatively charged sea of electrons that form the metallic bond. The more electrons that are given out, the stronger the bond, therefore the melting point is increased. Intermolecular forces. This is the attraction between separate molecules and is only a weak force. It is caused by the slight electrical distortions in the molecules. When the object melts, some of the intermolecular forces are broken. And when it is boiled, all the intermolecular forces are broken. Which means that the molecules are free to move as a gas. When melting or boiling the substance, it is the attraction that is broken, not the covalent bond. Chapter 3. Done!